For the first setup, prepare your router and PC with an Ethernet port. Plug in the power adapter to the router. The start should be indicated by the LEDs on the front side. Connect your modem or cable from your internet provider to the port marked as 1. Then use an Ethernet patch cable to connect one of the remaining ports to your computer. The package also contains three antennas. Wi-Fi cannot be used for the initial setup, you must enable it in the router configuration first. Open your browser and into the address bar enter 192.168.1.1. On the welcome screen click on the begin installation button. Choose a strong password which will be used for the first administration interface. You can also tick the checkbox to use the same password for the advanced configuration interface and SSH. On the one configuration page, choose your upstream connection type. The most common is the DHCP option. If your ISP gave you a static IP address, set it here. The PPPoE protocol is usually required for DSL connections. The next step is the connectivity test. If the test fails, it shows an error message and allows you to change the WAN settings or recheck the cables. In rare cases, simple refresh of the page may fix the problem, for example if it takes too long to obtain an IP address from the internet provider. The fourth step asks you to select the region where the router is used. Select the continent, country and time zone so the router can display the correct time. In the next step, router's time will be synchronized with internet servers. If the synchronization fails, you can enter the time manually. Trish Omnia can update its software automatically. You can disable this feature, but we recommend you not to do so to have the installed software up to date and secure. The installation of the updates can take a while. Once it's finished, you can proceed to the next step. In the next step, you are asked to enter the router's IP address and the range of the DHCP pool. Usually you won't need to change anything here. Tourist Omnia has two Wi-Fi cards you can configure independently. For simplicity, we will configure only the first one, which supports 5 GHz band and provides higher speeds and better stability for modern devices. Be sure to use a strong password here. And we are done. If you are interested, you can join the Tourist Research Project by following the instructions on the data collection page. Thanks for watching and enjoy your Omnia!